All right, so we have Paradox and Tivol, and they're figuring out the stage situation. I'm guessing we're going to see DDD and PT. Probably going to see DDD uh, from Tibble. More likely going to see Pokemon Trainer from Paradox. So definitely no doubts on, on who they mean to go. Like, don't get me wrong, Tibble's uh, DDD is totally sick, but I, I would like to see some more Link. Um, I think he's gotten a little rusty with Link. I know he switched up from going from the GameCube controller to the Perk controller. Oh, that's hard. Just, yeah, it doesn't feel and right. You know what it is? Yeah, I was about to say, playing a new character. With the new controller, yeah, it's it's rough. Right, he's actually going Pac-Man instead of Pokemon Trainer, so we'll see if Who is going Pac-Man? Uh, Paradox is gonna oh, go. Oh right, he told me that. Yeah, I so convinced him to if, pick him up the other day. See if can kinda Does he have any that. matchup? I don't think he has any matchup. Oh, boy. oh. oh maybe not. <laughs> so um how many uh like um, does he does he watch can... anything on like all the characters, or I know he's I know he's watched Paradox do some Pac-Man before, but he's never like watched. But he's, he's never really. Oh boy, so he's in for a treat, everybody. Yeah. I won against Paradox's Pac-Man, and Paradox didn't know Pac-Man was an A, in my opinion, S-tier character in this game. Oh. So literally, like four days ago, I convinced him to start playing him because he put he played him in four, and he had no idea he was good. Hmm. Right. So I'm not sure what was going on. I don't know if maybe Tibble just chose the wrong skin and he made to make sure he was the right skin. Hey man, I've been there. That that messes with me. I will throw games over that. Alright, so here we go. Game one of their set. Pac-Man. Tibble looks TV. prepped. Paradox looks prepped. Should have a good match. Oh yeah, off. look at that. Oh, oh my god, god who is really this stuck. man? Okay, so let's see how Paradox is going to answer back here because that was a nasty spike. Get an equally fast stock out of, out of Paradox. I don't think I've seen a good DD spike in this game yet, to be yeah, honest. That, that was awesome, dude. That was, what, five seconds? I, I, I don't know. That was, that was pretty, some kind of record. We're 630. We're 630. <laughs> we're going to have to watch that later. I'm glad we're recording. So Tibble's up over 100% now. We'll see if Paradox is able to capitalize. Right, on. and there's not that much damage. Oh, the bell off. oh. oh he punish on there. Good yeah, it was, but still, Tibble's very persistent. It's safe at the same time. Really covering a lot of his options here. I'm impressed. So pac has got some pretty good recovery even when he's off stage. So he really see does. Tibble knows kind of how to deal with that little trampoline that he's got. Right. What he should do is stick the Gordo on the edge and for yeah. force oh, Pac-Man to really recover high. Suck of the bell. Yeah, it's definitely nice that they added that addition to the game that yeah. he can. Uh, oh, can, oh, oh my God, this that is was, risky. Oh, okay, there's the oh, oh, what's gonna happen? Oh, he needs to put Stan on that hydrant. Tibble's got the it's answer for that. No. So it's looking like uh, not too much of an issue for the matchup here, at Tibble. Right, so there's first stock out of Tibble. Anything can happen with Pac-Man though. Oh, yeah. he, if he gets a string, he can get a 50 to 80 percent oh, yeah. combo, especially on a big character like DDD. Five. Tibble just really needs one good string or one good hit to take another stock out of. Him. Oh man, and Paradox is going full aggro. He just went key into forward smash. He's trying to get some damage, and here yeah, we go. Okay, slowing it down. Oh yeah. Oh. They could go either way. Ooh. All the stars. Oh, whoa. This is so intense and I'm not even playing. Yeah, I know. I don't really know what to say because there's so much happening. Right. Um, it's looking like that Paradox is working on really zoning uh oh my goodness slow the he should have down. forward smash right there but that's still pretty good he was yeah. covering all the options he is he's trying to slow the game game, the game down totally like right. he was getting like in there and kind of like he needs to get he needs to take away the aggression from dvd and really mm -hmm. slow things down yeah you can't get in there and trade with the hammer yeah. he was going in there and he's trying to trade with the hammer and guess what happened he got spiked but look at this he turned this around coming back so from the what, deficit what killed him there was that, that was up air, up air? Oh my God. yeah but he was at 170 in the blast fair, zone yeah. so i mean at that point an air would have killed him even. almost get, he just needs one good hit to, to take right his next stop. oh he's really committing see to these offstage punishes paradox can get some extra credit going right? yes and he is so there's 20 Going for the forward smash there. Thirty percent, thirty-five percent. There we go. Tibble needs to take center stage. Yeah, he needs. He needs to get, you know, one good hit and really get this stock and clean it up. There, there it is. Go. I'll right. do it. The jab, man. So last stock for both players. You know, Tibble's at about fifty percent. Pac-Man's paradox is clean. 
could go either way though. I mean, something going here. This is the suck game. Oh, okay, so they are both playing no! extremely safe right yeah, now. They're and gonna it's, start playing it's, safer. Yes. Not want to lose this. First Look at game. this. We got 320 left. We got a four-minute game here. This is nice. You know, when it's a longer game, it's uh. It just makes it better, in my opinion. The longer the game matches, like the more oh, the yeah. more hype it is. Oh yeah. So Tittle's really got to start being careful with some of the options that Pac-Man has. He doesn't want to get hit by. Oh, oh my man, God! He, he didn't know that it hung out that long. The bell hangs out for like three seconds. It's yeah, ridiculous. So I wonder if a lot of it is just no matchup experience against Pac-Man or for Tittle. So. See, at first it was like kind of like working in his favor because right. he was just like going in right. and then Paradox is like I'm going to slow this down yeah. and literally just and that's, and that's fruit exactly to completion what he to do is slow or bell down and take the you know take a game into his own pace and that's the thing about the game that's beautiful is like you know uh, at the higher level matches it almost always gets slowed down oh, yeah. it is always a and long fight at some fight. point they start off you know super fast super hypey they want to get it over with and then they start making mistakes and they need to slow it down right and uh, that's what Tivil needs to do on his end a little bit too, because even though the aggro was working at first, he needs to uh, fall back and. Uh, I wonder if maybe that early, oh, you know what, that though? five second stock gave him a little bit too much. You know, oh, too it probably much pumped him up totally, yeah. totally. And you know what else is? Uh, Paradox has had an answer for like ninety percent of his Gordos, so I think that's why he's not Gordoing. I was kind of wondering why he wasn't hanging back. Game two here, part of the same characters for both car for both players. Sorry. We'll see if we get a different game out of this. It's looking like Tiffle's playing a lot more yeah, uh, like passive. More slow down, more He's actually passive. grabbing now. I don't think he grabbed last game. Uh, I think he got a few grabs, but okay. there definitely weren't very many. Right. But it was going so quick. And DDD's and got a good grab, too, because he can actually get combos. True, yeah. Oh, look at that. Nice. He's getting some nice reads. It's uh, looking like Paradox is liking to roll out of shield, and Tiffle's reading that. Oh, he went for the spike again. Cheeky, cheeky. I like it. Nice grab. Okay, so, so he, we got the trade on the hydrants. So I think one of the advantages that DDD has against Pac-Man is he's able to get that hydrant off of the ground in one smash attack. So he can send it back at Pac-Man almost as soon as he can send it out. Exactly. And that might work against Paradox in that. In that the thing board. is, though, I don't know if you noticed, Paradox played off of that. Right. And he let him get the first right. hit. And, and it, most of the time, it is two hits, but I believe it's 16%. Oh, I think it's a percentage. Really close yeah. To We're still at three stocks here. Right. One minute in. It feels like it's been two minutes. Oh, there's the Gordos. Oh, nice coverage. Look at that. I don't know if he saved him there or not, though, with the neutral area. Right, I don't know. Oh, we got the chance. That's nice. Oh, he might die. Yeah. All right, so there's first stock again for Tibble. They're taking it away from Paradox. We got the deep breath from Paradox. He's doing the mind reset. See what he comes up with. Yes, it was. Let's see how much extra credit Tibble can get out of his you know, right. 165 percent. He's getting a lot. Yeah. He's a game down, so he has to take this. Oh, uh, paradox! Well, that came out of nowhere, dude. Here, yeah. yeah. So he's really trying oh, to get did, the wow! Most, yeah. Oh my goodness, that was really cool. I'm glad we had that recorded. Right, so we're definitely, definitely slowing down a lot in the second game. Yeah, that's um, the name of the game. Interesting. That's a good roll out from Tibble. Oh to man. Tibble awesome going out deep. Back here. Yeah. This is a nice back and forth, though. This yeah. is a straight up a great fight. Oh, yeah. No matter who wins, this is a good fight. Oh, oh that was a very interesting in yeah. I thought the Porto was going to send him back. Oh, very nice not, oh, 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 he's okay, he's okay. Sense, so that was kind of close. Yeah, that was worth kinda it on his end, though. Kind of off the stage there. But yeah, he was trying to attack. Yeah. Good forward smash by Paradox. Oh, he's got that bell, though, and he is good with it. Yeah, so see if Tibble can get an extra credit before he gets knocked out of the second stock. Good forward tilt, good pressure, good Oh, combo. wow, look at that. Naren to up tilt, that was nice. combo, yeah. So he really needs to start doing some more grabs here instead of trying for that forward tilt. Because it seems like Paradox kind of seems to dash past him in that dash attack. Yeah, you can cross up with uh, Pac-Man's dash attack. I was literally just doing it yesterday. So we got the bell out again. Oh, oh my goodness. Stock. So 
the first couple times Tibble has caught his fruits and bells with the breath, so that's what he's trying to do again. But Paradox is extremely good at downloading and updating the way he's going to play. That bell is such an interesting oh. mechanic on a Pac-Man because it just—it's almost like a shield break where it just stuns you for a couple seconds and you can't do anything. Oh yeah, no, totally. It—it it hurts. So Paradox going for like three grabs. And yeah, he needs to, really to dial it back here. It's a good back air. Tibble's running it back. Yeah. Oh, he wanted him dead right there. Oh, oh, oh. He's only at 50%, so he's not going to be stuck right. for very long. Look at this back and forth action we have here. I would like to see a game three, to be honest. Nice fingertips. Yeah, that was good. So there's that trampoline still there for Paradox. He's really looking for that forward smash. Yeah, he wants that. I mean, and it, it's him. so iconic. Oh, oh okay. nice. Right, so we're going to go into game three. Nice. Good recollection from Tibble to yeah, really he... rein himself back. Dude, that was a long match. How long was that? Uh, a four, four minute, almost five minute game. So they're really slowing it down, really needing to slow the pace down, and it's really working well in Tibble's favor. That's awesome. I don't know. I, I have no idea what's going on through Paradox's hitter right now. He might like switch to Pokemon I know Trainer. He's definitely not used to losing, so he might switch to Pokemon Trainer. There it is. Oh, he's, yeah, there's the eye roll. There it is. It's okay, though. We're here to win. <laughs> We're here to get better. He's looking kind of cheeky in the camera there. Yeah. Alright, so like, game three, we got Paradox switching over to Pokemon Trainer, who is really his main. Yep, and he didn't want to have to do it because he wanted to play Pac Man yeah. all day, but you gotta do it, you gotta do it. Oh, yeah. Yep. And so here's Squirtle's 50%. Here's, yeah, here's the 50%. Okay, now you're allowed to play the game. Talks about. Now that Squirtle got his damage in. Oh, oh, we're going for some cheek. We're going for some cheekies. Oh my wow. god. Both players are just balls <laughs> to the wall right now. Oh, Paradox though says respect me. Yeah. That happened very fast. Pulling Thirty out the seconds. Charizard pretty quick here. Usually you don't pull out Charizard unless you're at a higher percentage, because you know Squirtle and Ivysaur are so light characters, they're mm -hmm. gonna get knocked out really quick, especially by DDD. He so likes finishing with Charizard. He uses good. Ivysaur against me because it's a good matchup against Rob. Up air or up throw almost gets there's the yep. up air, so he's gonna take that stock uh, almost a minute in. He's got a method to his madness oh, yeah. for sure. Well, it's interesting the adaptations that Paradox is making, playing against a DDD player who's so heavy. So mm -hmm. kind of back to my my comments about switching to Charizard so early on, being only at a small Right, he needs to switch percentage. to Charizard right now or else yeah. he's going to... There yeah. it is. Yeah. So there's a flare bit. Oh, hit block, hit I bet you Tiffle went for a forward air right there and it just didn't work out. That's well, just what happens the, sometimes. The hit lag on his dash attack is really long and it, it catches me off guard a lot. It's, it's, oh, and you can two-frame with it. Exactly, yeah. But it's, it's deceptively long on the actual when it hits you. Right, because so he does the big dive. expecting Paradox to try to get up early. True, like expecting a ledge grab. Right, yeah. Thing is, his Charizard's up is super armor, so I'm not sure, but maybe Tibble doesn't know that. Oh, nice roll though. He's really got those down tilts down. All of his tilts really have been on point. Super armor really saving Charizard. Yeah, see, it's just nasty. Because that would have been really nasty. That would have been it. Tibble really needs to clean up his stock before yep. he takes much more damage. Or else it's, it's oh, that was a decent idea. I would have down throw and then baited out the air dodge. Right, so oh, look at that, though. Finally taking the stock, but he's at nice. 77%. Yes, and Squirtle um, is... I, I, the good I, I thing is that Squirtle's not going to be able to juggle him very well, because right. he's already at high percentage. Exactly, so, and he switched right yeah, away. He switched right to Venusaur. Ivysaur, 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 rather. Oh, wow, that was... That was extremely fast, yeah, and he's 0% still. Of there, so. You know one thing I don't like about Pokemon Trainers? When he switches, it feels like you're being taunted, because the <laughs> trainer starts talking, and it's like, dude... And then the camera angle change too yeah. that always gets me. I, I know it's part of the game and stuff, but like it just I feel like it weirds out a lot of players too. Yeah, Cause like the camera will zoom out and you just kinda like, what's happening? Oh man, that neutral air to up tilt, Tibble's got that unlocked. Yeah. It's a really good combo there. It is. It works to up about this percentage too, but once with rage and everything. So Paradox is just laying on the damage right Yeah. Here. He wanted to play Pac-Man, you know, for fun and stuff. But like, oh, uh, the dude, this, the maximum reach on that upbeat was ridiculous. Yeah, I didn't even... Uh, my brain was like, oh, he's fine. Oh, cool, yeah. All right, so Paradox is going to take game three out of that set. Good game, both of them. Absolutely, yeah, both games for both of them.